Hey guys, how's it going? It's AP Derek. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a great, 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 great day. Uh, I wanted to share a couple of things I got over Too Many Games Weekend. This is nothing spectacular, nothing fantastic, just a couple of gaming related items and then some other stuff that I've gotten recently sent to me in the mailbox that I wanted to share with you guys. So it's kind of just like a, a pick up and chill type of video. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing much to it besides that so what i'm going to do uh is first of all i don't recall the gentleman that gave me these at too many games i don't remember your name but he gave me a couple of transformers and these look g1 uh, i'm not really well informed with transformers to be to be completely honest but pretty cool pretty nifty i do appreciate it i'm at the play with these and take a look at them if you guys no transformers and stuff like that feel free to tell me down below these are my first personal transformers growing up my brother was the one that had like all the transformers so i i didn't really ever know the names until the michael bay movies came out so yeah go ahead and screw me i was a little younger than um than my brother i'm five years younger than my brother so he was into this stuff me not so much i was more of a ninja turtles power rangers guy but i do appreciate the gift and yeah maybe i'll start a transformers collection um pretty cool though i've never seen the big ones like as a kid the ones i played with were like the uh i think devastator the little green and purple ones that's what i had um i didn't have full-fledged ones like this so that's that's pretty neat can't go wrong with some vintage transformers right now continuing on um uh, i got two games given to me from uh daryl best who is quite often in my live stream chat he came to my table said hello um and he had a bag of games and told me to pick two so i was like all right cool um so i i was looking through them saw which ones i didn't have and these were two of them surprisingly um i never heard of this r-type game it's called r-type final i got on the ps2 i like to collect ps2 games since um that was an era of gaming that i'm just not completely familiar with in really good condition so i was like all right i'll pick it up i like r type games i'm not that great at shooters or stuff like that but it looks pretty cool so i'm gonna go ahead and check this one out and then i'm surprised i didn't have this i could have sworn i had this but when i looked up my gamecube collection i didn't now i think i rented this a couple times back in the day um, i'm a big star wars guy so that's why i'm surprised i didn't have it um of course you can play as luke you can play as wedge um i've always heard great things about this game uh and i've played it like once or twice again but i never owned it like when, when growing up i had the gamecube but i didn't have this game for whatever reason and i just have never picked it up apparently so now i finally have it so special thanks to daryl for the game hookup now um real quick before we get into these accessories when I got home, literally the night of uh, Too Many Games, like when I got home from night, uh, Too Many Games, Best Buy had like a video game sale going on. And this is a game that a lot of people kept asking me to get. Um, I believe it was $29.99 at Best Buy. And if you ordered it, you get a $10 e-gift card. So I got a $10 e-gift card that I could use at Best Buy. But Cruising Blast, you guys have been hyping this game up to me for the last several weeks so i finally went ahead and got it guys now when am i gonna play it when am i gonna live stream it i'm kind of backed up uh this next week i'm gonna be super busy with retro palooza and, and other things like that so we'll figure it out we'll play this eventually right probably when it's too late already but game looks like it's a lot of fun um so yeah we're gonna go ahead and check that out now last but not least we got a couple of products these were sent my way um for uh the uh, playstation 5 and the controller for n switch so what this controller for n switch is is it actually replaces your joy cons um it allows you to play the uh, nintendo switch without the joy cons because it's built in so you just slide the tablet in so we're going to take a look at this and then we're also going to look at this playstation 5 fan like a cooling fan that you plug into your PlayStation 5. 
so yeah we're going to go ahead and take a look at this and um through the power of editing we will go ahead and put this sucker right onto it uh here in a second so I i'm gonna have to try to gorilla style this and we're gonna figure it out so let's go ahead and unbox it this seems like it's literally just a plug in and and put on your um your playstation 5 it literally seems like all you do is you just snap that like onto the front or the back and it gives you some fans that i guess the exhaust comes out and the fans move with the exhaust so it allows it to uh, to help cool down the console um <laughs> let me see i think some instructions fell out we had some instructions that just fell out um so yeah it says uh it's designed to dissipate heat for the ps5 it's compatible with the digital or the console edition supports the original base to be assembled and used in horizontal or vertical state um so you just basically buckle it into the anti-theft hole of the ps5 and insert the usb plug into the okay uh-huh so the ps5 all right so <clears throat> You just put it in the back you put this usb in the back and it powers on and you just have it on so uh i'm gonna go ahead and um try this out it seems like it's a no-brainer uh, my my uh playstation 5 is behind me over here so let's go ahead and try it out and take a look at it i for one i for one forget how big the playstation sucker's huge <laughs> it's a pain in the butt to move out so right here is where it installs so this is like the anti-theft device and it just goes along this edge so this is how to install it we're gonna put it right here and it looks like you just use it like so oh and then look at that it conveniently allows you to still be able to use that usb plug so it doesn't uh it doesn't waste a usb plug but you have it on the back like so um very interesting i uh, i have never really seen one like this i've seen different ones and like the bases i have stuff like bases that go on the bottom and and things like that so this one at least seems like it's not as intrusive um and uh yeah i i, I mean i'm sure some of you guys would like to see the product in action so we're gonna have to make this work um my setup sucks i have like this stupid mic right here and and then my camera right there and then my console go over here so we're, we're gonna figure this out <laughs> live and in action for you boys and girls all right so let's see i'm at least just gonna plug the power in all right so every time i move this microphone it always just goes out of whack so i have the power plugged in we're just gonna turn it on it's working because i feel a little bit of air i think that's really about it i think all you really do is you just turn it on and it just blows and i guess the more heat that comes out the more the fan works simple as a pimple really right <laughs> i mean there's nothing really around that that you could really change so uh you know what i mean if you want to check it out i'll leave a link to that now let's go ahead and check out this nintendo switch controller and we'll see what this one's all about as keep the joking gamer would say so here is and i you know what i kind of like this let's go ahead and go ahead and do this how about that so um controller for n switch we're gonna open this i always get a lot of random uh nintendo switch um accessories and stuff and it, usually they're more like protective cases and and pro controllers and and things like that like stuff that i have thousands of but this is the the first um actual like nintendo switch um controller like for for portable mode that i've gotten and it, it seems pretty unique and that's what caught my attention the most again i'm gonna leave a link down below in the description for that um so here we go i think it's as simple as 
fighting this sucker onto the Nintendo Switch. So we'll go ahead. Oh. Okay, so it looks like we have some thumb grips in here. I don't want to lose. Have some orange thumb grips. Oh, as I literally lose one. When I say I didn't want to lose it. So we have some orange thumb grips. Um, and let's go ahead and take a look at the actual thing. So, have the analog sticks. You have the buttons. Oh, this is actually a good length, too. Makes it feel a lot wider than if you're playing with Joy-Cons. Uh, and the grip underneath gives you some thumb space. I don't play too often with my... Um, switch in portable mode it feels very light though and hollow um but i think this could work this looks like it's an ejection button to get it off there not playing with joy cons um so let me grab my switch it is actually right here i'm gonna take off the joy cons i hate the joy cons by the way with a passion slide this down and it goes plugged into that little thing like it's an accessory so slide it in and plug it down just like that and it actually doesn't feel that heavy with the switch tablet um on it it actually doesn't even look like a nintendo switch anymore man my screen is dirty i gotta wipe that so let's turn it on i think i'm low on battery if i'm gonna be honest yeah i'm actually dead so oh look plug it in and have it charge that's good um triggers so it has all the features you would need of the nintendo switch i actually like the way this looks honestly um let me find my plug all right real quick to eject it because i do have to charge my switch for a little bit yeah i'm not prepared of course it's eight. what we are going to do is we're going to magically let my switch charge and we'll come right back so it's gonna it's gonna charge all right so we're back and you can see got it set up again i like the way it looks and it feels pretty good um you know the d-pad's not half bad we're gonna test this out with the good old-fashioned super mario brothers i don't know how else to do this except um gorilla style so <laughs> we're going to uh kind of move this around and maneuver it and and try our best to uh to to actually test this thing i like it i can already tell you guys i'm digging it especially because it replaces the joy cons and it has a grip now it, it does seem a little bit bulky so you're kind of i don't know you you kind of have like i don't know there's not exactly a carrying case for this basically but uh here we go um plus button is down here so that's a little bit different all right oh man i love fire brothers 3 So it definitely does get take some getting used to. The analog stick feels a lot easier to control Mario than uh I'm used to Y being the run button, by the way, in in my Mario games. I need to remember when you play the Switch Online. Uh, maybe you could switch it. I don't know. I don't I don't play the Switch Online too much. But you know, for the most part, seems okay. And it allows you to charge the switch underneath because it has that switch port. Ah, I died on purpose. So not half bad. I, I actually dig it. So I'm going to leave a link down below for both the tools that uh, that you guys are seeing. And then I wanted to end with, with this funny um, game. Now one downside I do see is that there's no way to actually... Well, you wouldn't want to stand it up anyway when you're holding it. But, you know... Maybe at least a little stand or something would have been a nice touch. I want to show you guys this funny game. This is called Triple A Clock. And it, it literally is a clock for your Nintendo Switch. Like it literally is just a game that's a clock for your Nintendo Switch. Um... Game of the fucking year. I'll, I'll probably I was gonna do a meme with this and stuff and kind of have it like in the background or kind of like just show it off or even like fully review it but if you're looking for a clock app for your Nintendo switch um 
look no further basic um i don't think there's any options or any oh yeah there is some options check this out um so you can change the colors you could uh look let's do halloween colors right there um and you could even uh is there a game or something no you can set an alarm oh there's actually a game there is a little game uh hidden on it oh wow it's like a little a little runner <laughs> i i was not expecting that that's nice nice little touch but yeah triple a clock if you want to go ahead and check it out uh what else is going uh by the time you're seeing this it's probably retro palooza weekend so if you're not in the dfw area then where the fuck you at go to retropalooza.com come say hi and uh come hang out anyways i'm gonna end the video there i appreciate y'all thank you for watching